Teachers Appreciation Week. It's appropriate that we're going to go back to chemistry class this morning, but this one's going to be a bit more exciting than the one you may remember. Kate Bieberdorf, also known as Kate the Chemist, is a professor at the University of Texas. She's here with some fun experiments in just a moment, but first, she sat down with our other special guest, Carly Klaas, to talk about her demonstrations fueling the next generation of chemists. You might say these kids in Austin are in their element cheering and clapping for, of all things, chemistry. So let's say it together, sublimation. The ringleader, Kate Bieberdoff, AKA Kate the Chemist, a chemistry professor at University of Texas, Austin. Does anybody know what kind of physical change that is? 32-year-old Kate got into science when she was growing up in Michigan. As a kid, were you into experiments? Oh yeah. So my mom was an incredible woman. I remember we had this huge green bowl and she would let us put like shampoo and conditioner and soap and stuff in there. Um, food coloring once. Um, after that we weren't allowed food coloring. Now her live demos have taken her from the classroom to the TV studio. Yay! Yay! With pops yes! that have a purpose when you're able to touch and feel it and see it, like a balloon of fire in front mm -hmm. of your eyes. As a kid, that has huge impact. Oh yeah, and the thing, there's two pieces to it. It's not the visual, I mean obviously it's the visual, I don't get me wrong, yeah. but when you are in the room, you smell it. So if you feel the boom or you feel the heat that comes off, that can kind of invoke a way for them to make that memory so yeah. that I can actually teach them. Hands do you think it's a physical change? It's physical, let's go everybody! Kate hopes these reactions turn into passions, particularly among the young girls in the audience. Studies show girls especially decide early on whether they think they're interested in it or if they think they can't be good at science. Doesn't so. that make you want to pull your hair out though? I can't handle that. I oh, hate yeah. that. It's right, it's right before puberty that it happens. These girls mm. decide I'm either a math person or I'm not a math person. But the problem is women are so hard on themselves. And so if we already believe that we're not a math person or we're not yeah. a science person, then we get one wrong answer in class. That's it. That's all it takes. So it's hard to have that confidence. So I think whatever we can do to get into the middle school and yeah. the elementary schools and try to show girls that like, hey, you can be feminine, you can be pretty, and you can also love science and blowing stuff up. That's okay. A message at least one girl heard loud and clear. I just thought it was like boring math, but whenever I saw this, I found out it's actually kind of fun. Kate, the chemist, Kate is amazing. She's here. I, would, I think I would be a chemist if I had a teacher as exciting as you. And yes. Carla, she really resonated with She's you. She's incredible. Such an amazing role model showing how fun science can be and should be, and especially to young girls. Okay, oh, good. Absolutely. We're going to do a little experiment this morning. Kate, you take it away. What should we do? Okay, so this is called the oscillating clock reaction. So, Savannah, I'm going to have you start it off. So okay. Can you dump that first solution right here in the Erlenmeyer flask? Okay. okay. So, yeah, go. don't splatter. Yeah. It's okay. Um, so it should be moving. So, this first one just has hydrogen peroxide in it. It's not too concentrated. Um, at home, you have something like 3%. There you go. Now, Carly, go for number two. Perfect. Right. And now, in your second one, if you can Ooh. open it, there we go. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Uh, what we can see is they're both clear and colorless here. And so, this one has a little bit of potassium iodate in there and then some sulfuric acid. Very, very dilute. We just need a little bit of a spike. Again, mm -hmm. clear and colorless. Nothing okay. happening. Is yet. it important to do it? Number three, Jenny, in order like this. this. Go yes. for it. This one has three things in it malonic acid, Ooh. starch, and manganese sulfate. Uh oh. They were looked like water, then it instantaneously turned yellow. Savannah, can I can you have a stir for me? Yeah. Yeah. Like the last time. <laughs> My potion. It's there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so come on this side okay. of me. So what we have here in these buckets, we have liquid. 
liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is extraordinarily cold, 77 Kelvin. Ooh. And here we have hot water. So what we want to do, I want to make sure you have your cryogenic gloves on. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to pick up a bucket of hot water. <laughs> I'm going to join you guys very carefully. From the bottom, Dylan, from the bottom. There you go. Come behind. What we're going to do is we're going to dump hot water into the liquid nitrogen. Personally, I think it's better to have your dominant hand on top. There you go. Okay. There you go. You're going to throw it in all your might. Okay, so yours okay. is going to be bigger than his because you're stronger. Okay, here we go. Just, you just throw it on you're going to throw it in as hard as you possibly can. All your might. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Okay. This is a physical change. Here we go. Are you guys ready? blow up in my face. You did not tell me that was coming. I did tell you. You did not, Kate the chemist. Okay. I was like, oh, fine. Okay. Wow. Yes, this is a thundercloud. We have hot water in the liquid nitrogen. Release this nitrogen cloud. Oh. It's incredible. I hope I made your dreams come true. Yes. Wait, what was the point of the gloves? <laughs> the gloves are to keep your hands safe because you had hot water. Okay. So you don't want boiling water oh, on well, your hands. This is amazing. Oh, I don't I had know my who had a better experiment. Too. I love that you make science so fun and approachable. Thank you, thank and you're so you. passionate yes. about it. I am. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. I can tell. I want everybody to fall in love with science. It's oh. the best thing. Did you guys like it? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Kate, you are amazing. Thank you, Kate, Carly. Thank you so much. Oh. Dylan's completely I, soaking Dylan, wet, and she has I a blow like dry. Weather, so yes, she good. does. I love it. All right. If you want to learn more about Kate's experience, go to our website today.com. We're back in a moment. This is today We've on. We've got to do more TV. Roll it one more time. Thank you.